Grandstand cameras were at Northport for the second elimination final between the Northern Bull Ants and the Bendigo Bombers. David Rhys-Jones was in the expert comments chair. And Rhys, we saw two teams coming in with not great form. That's the way it looked in the first half. But we got a real contest after halftime. Yeah, we did. Look, the football was pretty ugly in the first half. And uh, neither team really showed much spark at all. But uh, after halftime, it really did open up. Bull Ants had to come from behind because of play like this from Tory Dixon after a smart piece of work by Ricky Dyson. Steinberg with a couple of early goals which should have been touched on the line, probably both of them. And then Ahmed Saad was able to get the one and only goal for the Bull Ants at the 23 minute mark of the first quarter. The difference was 11 points but it was always going to be a game that might experience a few shifts in momentum simply because of the tightness of the contest. Yeah, well, neither team was able to really dominate in, in, in the play. Even though the Bull Ants had a lot of the ball, um, they, they struggled once they got to the inside 50. It was only big Levi Casbolt down there who, who was a target who was really dominating. Yeah, the second quarter, it was only three goals and there was a bit of a collision between the Bull Ants players there. We just saw Biggs with one of the goals. This was possibly the most fluent passage of play by the Bendigo Bombers all day. Ben Dusha, who had a good day and has had a good year, finished up on the end of it. Bendigo had a 16-point lead at half time and it was really important for the Northern Bull Ants to come out and make a statement early and Levi Casbolt did that in the second half. Yeah he certainly did. Five goals, a terrific effort and sometimes there's one game that just we've seen giving the handball off to Dave Allard there but it can be one game that can just turn your fortunes in football and for Levi Casbolt that could have been today. To their credit though, after the Bull Ants kicked four goals Bendigo was able to fight back. They got goals from Dusha and Dixon and they put themselves right back in the game. At three-quarter time, it was only a point the difference and it was a real flip of the coin job at that stage. Yeah, it really was. And, uh, you know, to Bendigo's credit, they kept fighting out. And especially in the third quarter when they looked like they were, you know, going to get run over, they just kept fighting back. And then Dusha put them 11 points up at the five-minute mark of the last quarter. Seemed as though they had a bit of a sniff of victory. But this, out of nothing, Rowan Kerr kicks the goal at the seven-minute mark and it's sparked an avalanche because they kicked the last six of the game. Yeah, and look, they just showed their dominance, I suppose, in, in the last 15 minutes of the last quarter, and and that's what you expect from a pretty experienced team, really. Wonderful kick from the young man, Levi Casbolt. You could see what it meant to him, and he was able to kick that goal in the last quarter. As I said, they finished up with the last six of the game, and they ran away in the end. It looked easy on the scoreboard. It was anything but easy for the Northern Bull Ants, but they win by 28 points to set up a showdown with North Ballarat in the semi-finals. Ben Bendigo bows out. North Ballarat is waiting. And the Bull Ants, 14-9-93, defeat Bendigo 10-5-65 in the elimination final. The Bull Ants live to fight another day.